I've made a video of demonstrations of this using this apparatus here, which uh, you'll see in the video in a moment. So in this demonstration, this circular loop here is behaving as your coil. So I'll let you watch the video that I made in school of the demonstration and see if you can apply the ideas that we just saw to explain what you observe. Now I'm going to have a look at demonstration of so-called Lenz's law. And if we have a look here, I've got an aluminium uh, ring on this side with an aluminium ring on this side. And this is sort of balanced on here and it's kind of free to rotate so it can move quite easily round like that. And what I want you to notice is I've got a very strong magnet here and when I touch that on the aluminium it is not attracted to the magnet at all because aluminium is not a magnetic metal. Right, I'm now going to rotate this round so that it is side on and try and get it relatively stationary and I'm now going to move the magnet, which I've put inside a pot, so it's easier for me to hold. I'm going to move it rapidly towards the ring, but without hitting it. And if I do that, hopefully you can see that the ring moves away. And if I now move the magnet rapidly away, hopefully you can see that the ring moves towards. So let's try that again. When I move the magnet towards the ring rapidly, the ring moved away and if I move the magnet rapidly away then the ring moves towards and we're going to think about how we can explain that using the ideas that we've just done. So, In a moment I'm going to move the north pole of the magnet towards the ring here and then because I've got a changing magnetic field around this conducting ring, I'll get an induced potential difference, which will make a current flow in this ring, which will produce its own magnetic field. And since I must be doing work, the magnetic field produced by the current flowing round this ring must be a north pole nearest to where the magnet is. So if I do that in a different colour, that will make a north pole here, which should mean that the uh, ring is repelled by the magnet and the ring should move away. So let's see if that happens. Now I've got the north pole of the magnet on the other side of this and I'm going to move it away Therefore, the magnetic field around the conducting ring is going to change, so I'll get an induced potential difference, which will make a current flow. And because I will have to do work to move the magnet away, that will have to produce a south pole on the side nearest to the magnet. And that will mean that there is an attractive force between my magnet and this ring and hopefully the ring will therefore follow my magnet moving back. Let's see that.